Well, hello. Welcome to all you words and ladies of fate. You have once again found yourselves in the self-proclaimed only Twitch TTRPG stream that allows you, the viewer, to significantly impact the stories being told on your screens. In order to do so, you must spend fate chips. These are the loyalty points that you earn just by watching, following, hosting, subscribing, or even just engaging with us in chat. You then use those fate chips to heal your favorite players, summon in custom items, or make our players say silly things. You can even force the adventures into random encounters. Tonight, we are playing Tomb of Annihilation, an adventure module for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Join me. We have our cast, uh, Jeff playing Kenneth Noisewater, the halfling monk. Hello. Next, we have Armand playing Aladdin, the human warlock. Oh, well, hi there. I, myself, will be playing Jaeger Bruce, the human ranger blade singer. And lastly, we have Keyblader playing Xavier Thatch, the human rogue. Hello, everybody. And then to mitigate the will of the fates, we have our very own DM Dave. No, not that one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Chult. Uh, we are without Scrod, or, or played by Felix, who usually does our fantastic recaps for last session, so you're stuck with me. Uh, last time, on the orders of, or, or the, the request, rather, of Captain Elok Jaharwan of the Jahaka Anchorage, uh, the party was deep in a dungeon uh, off the coast of Chult. Um, they had unknowingly already pilfered all of the treasure that there was to pilfer, but uh, driven on by drink or various other what have you, uh, blundered through the dungeon for some while longer before making their way out and returning back to the Jahaka Anchorage with uh, most of the uh, poor, stranded pirates in tow. There, they were heartily thanked by Captain Jaharwan, paid for their troubles, and given a warm bed for the night. But uh, not before um, Scrod noticed something a little bit strange about Aladdin, and Aladdin. uh took a little time to himself. Um, however, you have all passed a, probably, frankly, the most comfortable night that you've passed in Chult since leaving Port Nyanzaru. It is warm, it is dry, you were fed, uh, and this morning you are awoken uh, with steaming trays of coffee, tea, and wholesome if tasteless gruel. Uh, it doesn't taste like much, but it sticks to the ribs. Uh, the pirates who deliver this breakfast in bed to you uh, let you know that Captain Jaharwan expects you in Bosco's bilge when you finish eating. All right. Thanks, Stoned NPC, for that uh, 11 months Prime membership. Thank you. Ooh. And Uncivil Union. Thank Ooh. you. Cheers to that. Huzzah. All right. Uh, I think the the group of us we were in like a some kind of like communal room or something, weren't we? No, here. Let me let me take us back to the anchorage. From yeah. How, how did I how did I wake up? How did I wake up here? I uh, <laughs> I fell asleep outside. Uh, there are these three <laughs> little rooms on the uh, top right corner. Uh, Aladdin, you wake up uh, cuddled in Scrod's burly arms. Oh, that's warm, but very, very unsettling. And sticky. Yeah. The, the, no, it's, it's smooth. It's, it's all the sticky. oil. It's all the oil. Yeah. Slidey. Mm -hmm. Slippy. Certainly have worse Slide pillows. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's these three... Um, rooms rooms little more than caves but uh as i said warm and dry hmm. uh you were distrib you distributed yourselves among them however you would see fit 
other than Aladdin, who was distributed as Scrod saw fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as soon as I get up, I'll, I'll go around and start waking everybody who's not awake and pushing everybody to move. <laughs> All right, this place fine. isn't going to fix itself. Well, yeah. Leave me alone. I've got such a headache. Why? Um, I'd like to take some time um, uh, uh, to, to go off into the corner of the room that I'm in. And, um, and it's round. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> one of the, one of the, the less round bits and, uh, uh, I, I as will cornery as it gets. Yeah. Um, and I will cast, um, find familiar to get, um, Uba back. Uba, um, after what is that? 10 minutes? I believe so. Um, yeah, you, you, you take your time, uh, waking up this morning. Um, and, uh, Uba appears in a puff of little, uh, a, a little puff of slightly brimstony smoke, but, um, flutters about happily and settles back on your shoulder. Ah, ah, there you go, buddy. See, that, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll try to, we'll, we'll try to watch out for stuff falling from the ceiling next time. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, well, you know, it, it's, it's hard looking for treasure. We'll find some. I, 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 we got the statue. Remember? Are you? Are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll find some somewhere to unload that. <laughs> uh, we could try. Yeah, sure. Uh, does anyone? <laughs> did, did, did anyone here see anyone who was selling stuff? Um, nope. Yeah, here in in the it. it this seems to be. You know, among pirates, you think it might be a little bit of a hard sell. Right. I don't know if I'd wave that around pirates to begin with. Oh, they're Sorry, they're heck. they're proud pirates. <laughs> they don't, they don't, oh, oh, I sure hope they don't have like a room full of booty around here somewhere. <clears throat> stolen, ill-gotten goods. Well, if it's stolen, I mean. <laughs> no, 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 no. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. We really we gotta shouldn't. Re we got to return it to where it came from by spending it, right? Right. Y you know what, Xavier? We we should hang out more. Yes, we should. <laughs> but you're not getting... You're not touching my Tedge again. <laughs> I do remember that. No, no. No, we, I, I slept that off. We're good. No, no more of that. Bundy gave us this robe. All these gems on it. Ooh. Does it do anything? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, you can you wear it. Just pretty. Looks cool. Yeah. yeah. It's very neat. fancy. Very neat indeed. <laughs> it's uh, like it really showing my fingerprints for some reason. I think that might be magic. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, once you've touched it, it never quite smooths back down, right? <laughs> um, hey guys, what what's this stuck to my hand? I can't I can't get it off. It's it's it it's a some kind of gauntlet. When did I get it? Oh, I'm not uh, sure that you had that before cool I came. But it's the stones in it. <laughs> what? Well, They're oh so shiny. Very, very the shiny stones. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Dean, what do you think? You like shiny stones? Uh, well, you know, um, can you can you take it off? No, it appears to be pretty strapped to my hand. Eh, eh. Oh. Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Can it's, it's um. It's like a glove, though. Can I cast um? Uh, did it do? I thought I had detect magic. Yeah, uh, I thought I had identify. I do have identify. Can I can mm -hmm. I identify this? Let's 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 yep. let's get down to the down to brass tacks. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you you spend another ten minutes to uh, cast identify as a ritual, um, reaching uh, to your patron requesting further aid this morning. Your patron begrudgingly accepts. And uh, at, at the end of the 10 minutes, ping, in, into the back of your head, you know that this is 
something known as an infinity gauntlet. Oh. It is a extraordinarily powerful uh what is it? A very rare artifact. Or a very rare wondrous item which will allow Xavier to uh request from the gauntlet the you you know that the gauntlet itself is sentient and he can once per long rest request that the gauntlet uh allow him to cast any spell of up to sixth level guys what the hell happened to me i don't uh, remember this um what did i do that's a it's a cursed gauntlet, and it's gonna eat your hand if we don't get it off and get it into my bag as fast as possible. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I, re, I relay I that information. Like that. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I uh, I I relay that information back to everybody. Um, yeah, that's uh, it's a very powerful magical artifact. Ooh. Um, what not to do first with it? Uh, Hello, Xavier. Uh, hi. Uh, Xavier, you have a faint memory come back to you from, from the day before. It's, I mean, it is blurry. It is vague through, through the pounding of your headache. Um, but you, you remember a, a little whisper in the back of your head when you were about to charge into danger and some, some sort of force that attempted to stop you from doing so and you connect that to the uh, gauntlet as well can you hear me there's no response are you talking to it i mean it's sentient well, but i didn't know if it talked does it does it talk to you it it, it talks to me it talks to me are you hearing oh. it talk to you right now? No. I talk to my stuff all the time. I don't see what's weird about this. <laughs> Bug crawls out of his nostril. No. Uh, um. He's not talking now. But um, maybe we can give him a hand. Right. Uh, what do I call you anyway? Gauntlet, five finger wishy spell. If, if it didn't answer you before, why do you think it would answer you now? Well, it must have talked to me before. Cause I remember. Why? Why don't you just mean. let us know if it starts talking to you again, and we can we can figure this out. Um, am I, I going to start turning neutral evil now? What? <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't like any of this guys. It just, it, it, do we try, do we tr do we trust Xavier with this kind of power? Oh, of course you can oh, trust me. I remember Xavier with great power comes great re responsibility. You have to stop drinking. <laughs> yeah. You know, we really should talk about this because you really shouldn't infinity gauntlet while drunk. I mean, I've had a worse headache today, and I, I slosh my little thing around a bit. I've got a lot left. Why don't we save that yeah, for a celebration? Yeah, oh, shoot. Mm, not. <laughs> huh? No, huh? nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Why don't we save the rest of your tedge for a celebration for when we figure out how to get that thing off your hand? Hmm? Maybe. Hmm? It's kind of power, though. Reality could be whatever I want it to be. Mm. Okay. You're not inevitable. Are it's you... not. <laughs> I'll, I'll hang on to it. Don't worry, guys. You can trust me. Uh, a, a pirate uh, peeks his head into the uh, cave that you are congregated in. Uh, sort of raps on the stone wall quite ineffectively. But says... Uh, Captain Jarwan is uh, just uh, seeing how you're doing. He's nursing a black eye. A quickly swelling black eye. Ooh. What happened to you? Oh, uh, nothing. Walked into a door. I'll I, be right back. I'd love, oh. to, I'd love to roll insight on that. 
<laughs> yeah, go for it. I just want to know how he hurt himself. Uh, where are you? Right here. There we go. Wasn't a door. <laughs> 17. Not a door. I fittingly rolled a four. No. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe we should hurry. Doesn't seem like the captain's in a good mood. But hey, guys, um, listen, the captain's probably going to have some more crap for us to do. I... I really think we should get to 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 uh uh o Omu. Is that 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 Omu? that's what's oh 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 yeah. Look, uh, the last place was a was a a, a bust for magical items and stuff. I, I'd re I'd, I don't know. Well, look, um, we're gonna talk more about that, but <laughs> I I really think that we should you know like it. Uh, I, I want to help out as much as the next person, but but we we don't have to do everything the the captain says, right? He's not our captain. No, I'm just no, saying. No, I'm no. just saying. I'll 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 go along with the group, but I just want to throw my but, two cents in before we get there. Starting to sound a lot like a mutiny. Oh no! Not, <laughs> not, not, <laughs> like I said, we're not part of the crew. We can't we can't mutiny because we're not. Do do we want to rule this? Anchorage? I mean... We could get all the treasure. I mean, now we're starting to talk about some really weird stuff. I mean, if that's really what we want to do... <laughs> I think we should focus on the task on hand. Oh, that's right. We're on a time limit, guys. We gotta stop this thing from happening to people. I signed up to finish the tasks of my brother. That's right. So, Omu it is. Omu. Oh, woo. Perfect. Yes. Well, let's at least extend the courtesy of, of, of going and visiting the captain before we leave. Before he, yes. before he, you know, punches any more of his subordinates. Yeah, for no reason, too. I know, right? That's crazy. He said it was a door. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't think it was. <laughs> I don't think it was a door. I don't. I, I really don't. I don't believe that either. I think it was a wall. Uh, well, you. Hmm. Yeah, a barrel. <laughs> there are a lot of those around. <laughs> a distinctly fist-shaped barrel. <laughs> fist-shaped barrel. Uh, as you head across the um, bridge, heading back towards Bosco's bilge, um, Aladine, you notice that uh, Uba is sort of toying with something and, and tossing it back and forth between his little monkey paws as he flutters next to you. Hey, buddy, what you got there? <laughs> well, let me let me take a look at it, bud. What you got? Let me see. Uh, he very quickly flashes it to you. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a green ring. You can catch that much, but then he immediately clutches it close to his chest. Buddy, I mean, look, you, you know, you know, we're in this together. I can't, I can't figure out what it is if you just or keeping it from just let let me hold it. Come on. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Says Uba. <laughs> Twenty one. There we go. Out. There we go, buddy. That's a good monkey. Um. I guess if I've got if we've got ten minutes, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and identify again. Sure, I've followed the wait. I'm curious what this ring is. <laughs> um, you you wait uh, ten minutes while Aladdin contacts his uh, weary patron. <laughs> I know, it's three really... times in the morning. I know, but you know, it's it's an active morning. Especially from a <laughs> warlock. <laughs> um, you identify this as a ring of the green lantern. Uh, I, I don't know quite what it does yet. I'm going to have to figure that out. Okay. Uh, but before next time, you will I will have a little stat block drawn up for that Perfect. sucker. Perfect. Thanks to Mr. Goliath Man. Thank you, Mr. Goliath Man. Thanks for you're the awesome this, item. You're turning this into a movie. <laughs> the, the greatest crossover we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know who's playing Batman. 
I mean, the Green Lantern is my favorite action hero movie. Yeah. <laughs> Universally Ryan, loved. Ryan Reynolds, of course. Uh, I think it was probably one of the best ones ever made. All right, so now you head to... And anything else before you head to Bosco's Bilge? Anybody, what's everybody else doing during this 20-minute uh, um, pacing? <laughs> Uh, I, I removed one of my water skins of alcohol I'm drinking. Hair of the dog. Oh, yeah, I should probably eat some food. Um, I don't know. I'd probably, like... Because if we're in this hallway, I'd probably... Like, if we're waiting the 20, the, the 20 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever, I'll probably double back and just see what's up the, what's up the other way. Uh, up this way, you come to yeah. a... Uh... A double door sealed with an iron padlock. Oh, so it's locked. Yes. Are there any? Is there a crack in it? Like in the door that I can kind of like. As are Lowe's. Uh, Lowe's. Uh, no. It is. It is well constructed, well sealed. There are no discernible cracks that you can poke through. Hmm. Um, so it's a locked door uh -huh. in a pirate's main base. Uh -huh. hmm. Is this what we're doing? I'm, I'm just making note of it. I'm not. I'm not doing. It. I'm not acting upon it. Okay. Okay. And I um, just got his hands behind his back. Do, do I do, do I notice Xavier like like having this thought process? Uh, I think at this point you're pretty you're concentrating on okay. uh, doing your ritual, so okay. you do not uh, you do not catch this. Every, everybody else probably wa sees him wander up, peek around, and, and anybody who's paying attention. I'm not hiding. I'm just you know I yeah. Set the, set the door, and it's a locked door. Yeah. And very suspiciously locked. Yeah, Aladines, you are you are concentrating at the moment. No, that's all I would do. There's no, there's no gold piece lying on the floor outside of this door, perhaps. Oh, no. well, there's okay. a, there's a redemption in chat that might be helpful. Gl glitches, glitches my <laughs> ritual. <laughs> that's why so I put my hand on the door and I go, and I'm inside. <laughs> um. It, so, so. You you oh, hear um, you, you you get that little ding uh, in in the back of your head uh, that that happens when you successfully identify a magical item. Ooh. You you get the you get that it is a a ring of the Green Lantern, and then at the same time you get basically alarm bells klaxons ah. warning warning oh. danger danger oh. uh, nothing specific but it just it that those like both come into your brain simultaneously clash for a second and then dissipate oh too early for this <laughs> i agree you heard that too no i just mean all of this stopping when we're supposed to be you know, oh <laughs> Quite right. Uh, we probably should press on. Oh. I put my hand on the door. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Yeah. I, I can. I can. Is it a very good lock? Uh, make an investigation check. <laughs> Um, ooh, I'm falling for my trap card. Uh, ooh, 19? Uh, it's, it's a pretty hefty lock. I mean, you, you think, you know, wait, given enough time, I'm sure you could get through it, but it's, it is of good make and will require a, a pretty decent, uh, lock picker to get through it. Or a pretty decent swing with... Maybe a few decent swings with a with a bladed weapon, or or it's it's hefty. Or my will to survive. <laughs> um. <laughs> Negligible. 
uh, how how well? I guess I can see the map, right? How this area is one square is ten feet. So that's uh, how big is it? Three hundred. Uh, yeah, it, it's a big room. Or wait, what are you what are you looking for? Um, the distance. Yeah, from the door to everywhere else. Uh, I mean, for, like, in a radius from that door, how far would, like, 300 feet be? 30, 35, oh, wait. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I mean, it'd be 30 squares. It'd be, like, the whole anchorage. Yeah. And how many pirates did we, um... Happen to encounter on the, uh, here? A few dozen. Um, are these guys smart enough that maybe if they heard a loud sound originating from this area that they would probably investigate? Um, I don't. I don't know that you've interact. Well, the 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 few guys who you interacted with orbits. <laughs> 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 Uh, but you don't you don't really remember orbits, so um, I would say you you have not interacted with. I, I mean, Jaharwan seems pretty sharp. Um, beyond that, your interactions with the pirates themselves have been fairly limited. Um, I would say common sense. Uh, it is a it, it is the only lock you've seen. Right. Um, and. Yeah, you, you think probably a sound right around here would attract a good amount of attention. Okay. I'll have to come back later. Oh, man, guys, I finished that uh, <laughs> identify. Where's Xavier? Is he, what kind of trouble is he getting I, into? I, I round the corner. <laughs> there somewhere. Um, oh, oh. oh. No, just a locked door on the other side over there. That's it. Locked door, you say? Yeah. How good of a lock is it? Oh, pretty good. You get the feeling that they'd come running if we made a loud crashing sound? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have, mm. with my expert mind, I've established that it would probably alert the entire area if I were if I were to ask the gauntlet to do something. Oh, well, you know, um, this would be an excellent time to let you all know that I could cast Dimension Door. Is that a point that you have to see them? Uh, I can visualize if I can visual if I if I can say eh, like ten feet in front of me, then it, I can make a, a a door there. Um, I mean, it'd so be, easy. we can do that. We don't have to talk to the hand. Yeah, gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, we could. I mean, if, if you wanted to, I'm that, just, I'm just we, curious. I'm trying to understand the dynamic in this group. I've only been here for a little while. Are we bad guys? Are we Are we trying to steal? I mean, but this stuff's already stolen, though. Is it that? And I've already uh, stolen from one other person before, but she kind of deserved it. It's the, the greater good. I mean, the greater good would be taking it back to its original owners. We're not entertaining that idea, right? Um... No, we are. The, the original gonna... owners might be where we're headed. Yeah, and we're going to return it through know. spending. You no, know, through circulation of money is how we're going to return it to the owner. Surely, oh. surely he's better than a pirate. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should try to. If oh my god, if we're really going to do this, we should probably try to distract them. So. Me, Dimension Door, I can bring someone with me. What are we talking about? S Scrod, you're, you're, you're big. You can carry a lot of stuff. And, Scrod nods. And you seem very agreeable right now. <laughs> well, Scrod agrees that he could carry a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, God, I wish everyone would follow my orders. Once. <laughs> <laughs> But now, uh, oh, look! If if we're gonna if we're gonna do this, we we do have to entertain the idea that we might have to fight our way out. Um, I don't know about you, I'm, 
I counted at least dozens. Yeah. I mean, they got cannons too. I think. I mean, I I, I haven't seen any Are cannons, but I assume they have own... cannons. Uh, pretty much off I'm sure, I'm sure they have a bunch of army somewhere that they could bring up to make it an even fight. <laughs> um, they offered us whatever we wanted, pretty much. I don't know if they'd have anything else that we currently don't need. Well, buddy, though. I mean, we got this robe with all these gems on it. Does the mission work? Does the mission door work both ways? Like, can we also like go through, go back through the door? Uh, my understanding is, let's see. Um, I think it's an. I think it's another casting. Yeah. Uh huh. Because the duration is instantaneous. So my. So once it's used, it's used. I've got enough spell slots to do that, but you know. Could, but that's like your last could, two, though, isn't it? Can, can someone remind you why we're trying to get into this door? Oh, I was just curious what was in it. Yeah, but it's I don't. I, 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 I don't know if if we can honestly risk getting ourselves killed for just the curiosity of it. I mean, how about why don't we just ask what's curiosity in the room? Curiosity did kill the cat. So right. Suppose. Okay, I was just I was just curious. No, River Mist, we, we didn't mean anything by that. <laughs> Rivermist stops licking herself. <laughs> I was not paying attention. That's good. That's good. Good. Um, no, that's it. No, just locked door. I just want life. Stuff. Yeah, just one of life's little mysteries. I, you know what? I'm I'm okay with dying, never knowing what's behind the door. We should go to uh, to Omu. Okay. Yes. All Curiosity right. to get the best of me. Let's go back to. Let's go to Omu. Let's talk to Jaharwan, and get out of here. All right. Anyway, after, after that, we're, we're coming back later. Okay, much <laughs> <Well>, later. <laughs> <laughs> after that discussion on the bridge, uh, you head down into Bosco's bilge. Uh, it seems like it's just Bosco and Jaharwan in there this morning. Um, Bosco's behind the bar where it seems like maybe he lives. Uh, you've never seen him anywhere but there. And it's kind of the same thing with Jaharwan. He's still in the huge uh, booth that seems to be his and his alone. Uh, no consorts this morning. Uh, just a, uh, a silver goblet on the table that he is drinking hardly from as you come down into the bar. Uh, he spreads his arms wide and says oh he was he was southern he was he was a southern gentleman he says uh <laughs> my my friends uh, good morning to you all now uh, can i uh, can i have bosco prepare you something uh, a little stiffer than the coffee you were served no alcohol for me not anymore oh sure thank you no uh -huh. i'll take it up uh, bosco bosco take care of the man uh, Bosco pours you a double of some amber uh, liquid. It is Kaiser Lowe's. Uh, hi. It uh, it smells like it smells like the good stuff. It smells like what's whatever whatever your preferred spirit is. Uh, it smells like top shelf. Ooh, Casper. Top shelf. <laughs> Friendly. Friendly. Ooh. Um, Jaharwan beckons to the uh, to the table across from him and says, uh, "Go ahead, have a seat. I was just wanting to uh, know your fellas' intentions going forward. What you were, uh, uh, what you what you're going off to. See if I couldn't offer a little bit of a uh, little bit of assistance." I believe we're heading off to uh, Omu. Oh. Intentions is to uh, relieve this land of this this death curse that's befallen it. Dangerous place, Omu. It's where all those uh, snake people are from, you know. Oh yeah, you mean like Yum. these? And I snake pull out the hide of one of the ones that I skinned. Oh God. <laughs> oh. Um, highs or lows? 
It eyes. It stinks. It. <laughs> um, for, for the first time, you see Jaharwan's. Um, <laughs> J- Jaharwan cracks a little bit. He he crinkles his nose. He says, "Oh!" Uh, he coughs up a little bit of whatever was in his goblin. He says, "Please put that away, if you wouldn't mind." Oh yeah, of course. <clears throat> I stuffed my nose with cot days ago. Uh, <laughs> a wise man. <clears throat> that is uh, impressive, but uh, disgusting. <clears throat> yes, but, but those, those, uh, my God, that was a big, ugly one, too. Yeah, I'd make a fine set of armor. I'm not even sure you fellas need any sort of, a, any sort of assistance, but... Uh, I can tell you if you're heading down to Omu, there's, uh, I've heard rumors, I've, I've got my, I've, I know people in places, and, uh, sounds like there's wizards about Omu as well. Wizards? Red wizards. Thayan, if I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am. What's, what's, what's our, what's our red wizard? Oh, no. I can history. I'm yeah. good at history. Do make a history check. Uh, haha. That's gonna be ooh ooh. Thank God. Sixteen. Um, yeah, you've you've heard the the red wizards of Thay uh, are not a savory bunch. They are. I, I mean, they they have sort of the a a similar, I would say, attitude towards um, uh, treasure as Aladine. But um, specifically magical items, uh, and and they they oh. they don't resell them. They use them for their own nefarious purposes. Exactly what those nefarious purposes are, you don't know. You've heard plenty of rumors of you know various <gasps> dead gods that they want to resummon. Oh. Uh, so they're kind of like the devils. So they're like the bad psychic order. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Okay. So, so there's probably the the rumors of there being powerful magical artifacts. They're probably true if they're red wizards. Oh, almost certainly. Huh. We well, we should we should get there quick before <laughs> they use them all up guys there's a, we could all of us could have an infinity gauntlet hey is there, is there more than one of you uh no response did I it yes there is did, did it did it say anything it did not say there wasn't more it didn't say no <laughs> i'm it didn't not say there yeah. weren't more i'm I'm not sold on the idea that you can talk to your to your infinity gauntlet, but I'm not going to judge. Could, he could be very insightful. Or she, I mean, I don't know. I mean, or it. I've seen much weirder things. They, them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you talk to a monkey, I can talk to my hand. Yeah, but when I say something to Uba, Uba responds like, Uba, what's so up? Is, so does the hand. See, we're having a conversation. Yeah. Everyone else can hear it. Uh, okay, you got me there. <laughs> I wish Uba, I, I wish I had just made Uba mime. <laughs> hear what? Kenneth, don't start with me. Oh, what does Warlocks have a familiar? What now? Does don't most Warlocks have a familiar? Yeah. Where's yours? Right, right, right here on my shoulder. Uh-oh. Uba looks at his hands. <laughs> ooh, 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 but don't fall for it. You know, you we've been here long enough to know. That Kenneth is a practical joker. He's just pulling your leg. Uba looks down at his leg. <laughs> it's still there, buddy. Don't worry. Here, look. If I if I let you hold on to that green ring from earlier, if you just hold on to it for safekeeping, will that like focus you up? 
<laughs> there you go. You 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 hold on to it. Uh, Uba takes the ring and uh, slides it onto his tail. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Aladdin. That took a lot of willpower for you to give up that ring. It's, what, <laughs> is, it, is it the is it the one ring? Like what? <laughs> is a reference. Oh. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, uh, with that, um, Jaharwan just uh, settles back into his booth and he says, you, you fellas have done me a, a number of services. I just wanted to fully, pre fully express my thanks and uh, send you on your way when belly's full and uh, tell you you're welcome back in Jaharwan. Uh, welcome back in Jahaka Anchorage anytime. It might be Jaharwan Anchorage next time you come back, though. I'm, I'm working on it. Oh, Hopefully did uh, were, were we able to procure those uh, crafting goods that I needed? Oh, remind re remind me what it was. He he absolutely was able to. Uh, just stuff for me. Uh, so I don't have armor stuff. So it would just be uh, the stuff that I would need to uh, make the maul out of the tentacle that I have. And, yeah. Um, I think finishing the dagger that I'm working on. Yeah. So le leather straps. Um, yeah. What like iron ingots? Um, You're making yeah. a dagger. Yes, I'm making another dagger. Uh, oh. Yeah, he he, uh, he pulls a um, a, a small uh, a, a small lockbox off the bench next to him and sets it on the table in front of him. Slides it across to you. Uh, hopefully that's uh, that should get you what you need. Perfect. Thank you. I'd love to see it when you're done, as long as it doesn't uh, smell as bad as the. Uh, this <clears throat> the skin <clears throat> yeah it's it's you know it's got to be treated and all still yeah yeah of course <laughs> it's it's amazing how quickly you start to get desensitized to it sensitized to what yeah mhm mm <laughs> i'm not <laughs> all right fellas safe travels yes you as well Oh, I think my traveling days are behind me. I'm too content, you understand? So you've travels for your compatriots. Yeah, well, they're expendable. Ooh. Not if they're safe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he seems to lose interest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's ride. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're, we're, are we heading out this gate, or, or we can go straight? Oh yeah, we're in a cave. That's right. We just fly up and out. out yeah, and yeah. The um, you are uh, you can head out the front. Uh, Bosco um, gives catches your eye, Kenneth, as you uh, return the the empty double glass and gives you a nod. Gives you a like he he, res he respects the the capacity. Well, thanks for having us. <laughs> With his hook hand. I think that's... Does he have an eye patch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has an eye patch. So that's how he loses an eye. <laughs> it's me first day with the hook. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as, as you as you wander out the uh, the front gates, a, a call goes up. The front gates are lifted, and you can head on out of the anchorage. And I'll oh. move us back to the map of Chult. So, uh, Omu lies directly north or southwest of you is that west i forget yes. janky i think so, the i think the original plan when we made this detour was that we were going to go to ataz kawazi yikawazi it's a weird one yeah. yikawazi uh and then the red star and then omo all right yeah. um so heading Heading straight there, you'll have to go up and over the Kobold Mountains, which uh, they have these um, plumes of dark 
ash and smoke rising from various caldera above it. Uh, if you head straight there, you can probably hit Ataz Yikolazi tonight. Uh, if you go around, it's going to take an extra day of flight to reach Yikawazi. But that is that is the um, that's the only destination that you have that you can reach in one day. I uh, <clears throat> I can't fly, guys. I can't either. Big guy carries me. Um, well, I don't think he can carry both of us. I think he can. I think he's got, <laughs> he's got like a ludicrous you, you carry. You could, uh, yeah, add your boats. Little, little thing though, right? If you needed to. Yeah, but it only lasts for a certain, a small amount of time. So I, I, I got like a few charges of it, but it only lasts a half an hour at a time. Mm-hmm. If we're gonna be traveling for the better part of a day, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be good. Let's see what's here. Um, ourselves a new bag of colding. It's Kenneth. Um. Yeah, actually, um, yeah, you you are gonna start to uh, run into issues flying and um, traveling. No. No, you're not. You can you can fly up and over. Um, Kenneth can. I mean, not Kenneth. Uh, Scrod can um, strap. One, he can he can strap one of you and carry one of you. He he will have to roll to avoid exhaustion at the end of the day. But as as or at the at the end of the day, but as long as he rests it off, he should be okay. Might have to leave the boats behind. That that will be that will be the decision. Well, we gotta keep the pink one, right? I mean, like, well, hold on. I, I, uh, Aladine knows nothing <laughs> of the lore of this boat, but, but me, the, the, the player who's invested in this story, we can't leave Betsy behind. Maybe they'd be kind enough to carry, uh, uh, keep our boats here for us while we're gone. Yeah, you you think Jaharwan would would do that for you? He seem he seems pretty. I always do one day that our boat would grow up and leave the house. <laughs> and yeah, actually, you know, the the place you're heading, um, you you have you have um, what the the all of the water is already labeled on your map. There are no more rivers down near Omu. They are just going to be dead weight from here on out. No, no, Betsy. You can't come with us this time. Betsy does nothing. <laughs> Betsy remains a boat. No, Betsy, stay. Stay. You have to stay. <laughs> Betsy bobs Wait. gently. Wait, you said it would take us a, pretty much a day to get there? Or a little bit after the day? Uh, yeah, it will take you the full day of flight to reach Ataz Yikawazi going over the mountains. Uh, going up and through visibility will be poor, right. but uh, it will it will save you a day. Yeah, what could go wrong? Well, I wasn't really thinking about that until you said something. <laughs> ah, we'll be fine. Oh damn! Why did it have to? Why did that casting time have to be eight hours? That would've been hilarious. <laughs> um. Yeah, one guy talking to a glove, another one talking to a boat, and. This big so, guy has wings, so I, we're good. I, I know that you said that it has to be a casting time of an action, but I think it'd be really funny. Did I say if that? I, yeah. I want. Does to it say, say that? Yeah. Because I want, I want to be like, oh, Betsy, I sure wish you could tell us how you felt, and when I cast Awaken on the boat. No, so that that's the you can request the effect of one spell. It basically oh no, it has a casting time of one action. Look, yeah. I'll 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 allow you to awaken the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna uh, <laughs> Of all the things we've tried to pull. <laughs> that's no intelligence score. 
Are, we, are right. you making a stat block for the boat? This is great. <laughs> this is the. This is what I need. Uh, gains an intelligence of ten. That's pretty decent. Uh, what language would you like Betsy to be able to speak? Common. Boat. <laughs> it's it's going to make the reunion quite the uh, spectacle. <laughs> 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 Uh, <clears throat> uh, Xavier, you you gen as as you say that you rest the your gauntleted hand on the pink uh, painted whale of Betsy, and it creaks, groans beneath your hand, and suddenly you all hear. <sighs> what? what the hell? Is that boat breathing? I think it's I breathing. Alive. I told you weirder things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for showing me so much of the world. I have seen more than any poor little rowboat could ever dream of seeing. I will stay here. I will await you. I will paddle myself around Jahaka Bay, keeping myself safe. But return for me, for I wish to see once more my true love. Guys, was, Technically, what? you could go there now if you wanted to. Oh, talking about true love? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a long story. Don't worry <laughs> about it. It's... I'm intrigued. Just, just let's just let's just get out of here, guys. The ups and downs. Love is like an ocean. All I wish is to feel the waves beneath my bow once more and to see my love. I bet you shall. I bet you shall. <laughs> uh, you, you set Betsy free in Jahaka Bay. Mr. Goliath, but we can't flirt with Betsy. Betsy's already married. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, technically, Betsy's not married. Oh well. No, Betsy's married. Well, <laughs> no, no, it was no, a switcheroo. Right. It was a switcheroo. Yeah. I guess oh, Betsy, Betsy's just a side boat right now. <laughs> a mistress boat. Oh. Hey, look, we got some raiders. Oh, hey, Guild Superior. How was oh, the How God. was the stream? Woo! Throw those hearts in chat, everybody. Uh, the party is setting off after uh, awakening a long, <laughs> long time friend. Yeah. <laughs> Don't As... ask. <laughs> like, setting off. Their she, she's she's a bilf. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, Atlas, can you please give Mr. Goliath Man some fate chips for that? That's that's just. That was, that was too good. That was too good. Thank you. Uh, glad that story came full circle. <laughs> right. And there's still more to be told there too. Like we can we can come back and fulfill this this it's arc. Be beautiful. It'll have to be part of the conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Are we taking off? Power guys. I didn't know I could do that. Uh, as, as as that happened, you heard in your head for the first time since yesterday. Wish granted. Oh, see, you do. You can say something. Wait, did it, it just say? Did it just say what? something? Yeah, it just said your wish is granted. He's the homie, guys. I didn't hear anything. I'm. Maybe he doesn't like talking to you guys. Well, why not? Because he likes me. I just isn't that right? Isn't that right? Here, here, here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we'll go. <laughs> All right, you head uh, up over. Or wait, what? So what is what is the what is the uh, traversal plan? I think just direct. You go straight. Yeah. All right, oh, uh, you know, um, mm, uh, I really, I, I could free up 
size and space by going down into my ring, but I kind of, I can only do that once per long rest. I kind of want to hold on to that. Yeah, no, no, no. He, he could just carry me full size. Scrub, yeah, Scrub can um, uh, heft the both of you. <laughs> Uppies. <laughs> Uppies. My favorite. <laughs> Don't mind my little friends. Sometimes I crawl off of me onto him and on the No, road. that's I don't you, mm. cross contamination. <laughs> We're just kind of like one big thing when they, when we do this. <laughs> Good thing I'm over here flying by myself. Um, I would like to. Um, cast multiple. Press the digitations to clean, <laughs> to 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 clean um uh Jaeger. <laughs> just stop. No, I just like look, 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 look. It's just such close quarters. You can be dirty all you want, but not while we're this close, please. The source of his power. Little do you know. <laughs> you're so weak. It's like cutting Samson's hair. No. <laughs> what have I done? The big smoke things we're gonna go through will clean me. Don't, don't. Good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd settle um, for a delousing. <laughs> so yes, you you head uh, up, heading straight through the. I'm just looking something up real quick. Perfect. Um, onwards towards the Ataz Yikulwazi, tonight's destination. Uh, you head out of Jahaka Bay. Uh, sailing over the water quickly gives way to steep cliff sides, choked with ash and smoke. <coughs> you climb higher and higher. The visibility gets dimmer and dimmer. Uh, soon you are enveloped entirely in the uh, ashen smoke, smelling of brimstone pouring off of the kobold mountains. Oh, geez, Grod. Where to me next time? <laughs> Zing. <laughs> oh, man, this is... Uh... This is worse than the, the, the hookah bars at Port Nianzaru. <laughs> just, just keep going straight. We should be fine. Am I, are we going the right way? Yes. Uh, yeah, who, um, I mean, we're someone surrounded make by a blue. survival check. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> to, to lead us. 16. Ooh. Yeah, you, uh, you, you are able to... Jaeger, with your um, innate sense of direction, you're, I mean, it's its technically not the jungle that you're in right now, but you're above it. You you know. <laughs> you're um, in the jungle, man. And I can see a little further than everybody else. That is true. <clears throat> Let's see, I need everybody's little character models. Why? No reason. Uh-oh. Roll. Ro. Um, Damn it. Should have saved that. Should have saved that spell. <laughs> I have this funny feeling this is going to be our level five encounter. It could just. <laughs> thanks, oh. chat. Thanks, chat. You make me yeah. so happy sometimes. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Mister Goliath, man. You're the best. Oh, hey. <laughs> Spam that chat with hearts. Oh, there's also. I mean, there. There. I forgot. There's three NPCs who can help carry as well. Um, yes. So, who, who who would like to go with the NPCs? Maybe River Mist and Flask of Wine together will carry one of you. I'm more comfortable with Scrod. You might you might have to fight Jaeger for it. I think I think Jaeger's got there first. He doesn't mind carrying me too much. <laughs> okay, all right. But I'll go with anybody who's willing to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's just a plus not having to ride with Jaeger. I'm, fi I'm fine with River Mist and, and, and Flask of Wine. All right. 
uh, as you fly in t- or through the um, through the dark, choking clouds. Um, you are you, Jaeger. You're you're fairly certain that you are still on the right path. Um, but. Uh, Xavier, as usual, you're the first to hear it. Mm-hmm. As always. First of danger. Oh no. Is it the ones that I saved before? Coming from behind you. It sounds bigger than that. Oh. Oh. Shit. Go ahead and Guys. sort of array yourselves as as you would be Oh, we're on yeah, a sur- we're on a surface. Uh, this this is you're just sort of this is in the void. Yeah. This is you are within the. Yeah, be here. Uh, visibility is quite low. I think this looks good for me and the cats. You and the cats. And we'd definitely be in the lead. Guys, I hear something behind me. Uh, so everybody, it doesn't get a stealth, it doesn't get a surprise round, but uh, everyone is going to roll for initiative. Oh no. Okay. okay. Roll for initiative. Da, 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 da. Ooh, dang. Eleven. Oh, and Scrat. Let's see, Scrat got... An eleven. <laughs> Why does it still say Aladdin is dead? <laughs> um. As you on death saves for some reason on my. Oh, it's just having trouble loading you. It doesn't matter. You're still in the initiative order. Yep. <clears throat> um, Kenneth, you are first. Uh, you hear this. Um. This huge. Uh, uh, beating of wings coming from behind you. But I don't see anything, do I? You, no, not you, you can. You can make a perception check. I'll make a perception check. Go for it. Another natural twenty. Oh, baby! <laughs> uh, you can see. Let's see. It is sixty feet dir- behind you. Uh, puts it within 40 feet of Xavier. Uh, A massive shape. A dragony shape. Mm -hmm. Uh, Soaring towards you at speed through the uh, through the cloud. Uh... Uh, once um, once Kenneth points it out, the rest of you can see it. It is blazing towards you. I mean, do we seduce uh, the dragon? And and now, actually, Kenneth, what allows you to see it is the flame beginning to billow in its throat. Oh, well, I think I'm going to try and move out of its line. Yeah, everyone's split up. Yeah, so you, yeah you, got, you got your movement and you got bonus action. We're gonna go over here, and it's it's. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna position over here. Okay. And uh, yeah, I guess about it. All right. Uh, Jaeger, you are up next. Uh, you can, you can, you are aware of this. Um, oh, and, and you can have, hmm. 
let's see, Jaeger, you'll you'll have Scrod act with you. So basically, he can you he has you have his movement. Okay. So what do we see from uh, our vantage point? Uh, you see a big ass dragon flying towards you, uh, billow. Uh, I mean, it's you can't see that it's billowing smoke, but you can see that it is glowing red with flame from its mm. its belly and its mouth. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I'm gonna scream scatter uh, to everybody, and then um, let's see. I don't think this is the time for chatter. There's a dragon behind us. <laughs> Can I tell how far away it is? Mm-hmm. It is from you and Scrod. It is uh, 70 feet. 70 feet. Okay. But gaining. <clears throat> 70 feet and gaining. Is it a baby or, a, uh, or an adult dragon? Uh, it is young. Okay. It is a young dragon. How's it going, Vancouver? Oh, so actually it should be... So, here's what I'm thinking I want to try. Um, let's see if I can get Scrod to, to pull back and head towards it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I want to try to cast a web on its mouth. What's the range on that? 60 feet. Yeah, you can get within, you can get within 60 feet easy. You can pop back. I mean, I don't get feet. too, too close, but... Yeah, you, you want to be just on the edge there? Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, and web does. Cute. So it, it will... Um, It will, since since it's not anchored or layered across a floor wall or ceiling, uh, it I thought will... as I was trying to anchor the top the and bottom of his, of mouth. his mouth and the floor <laughs> of his mouth, <laughs> just to buy so, everybody time to get away, basically. Yeah, I I will say it's um, it's it's still going to end at the start of your next turn. Yeah. But it will still have to. It will. It will technically start its turn in the webs. It'll have to make the deck saving throw. Or one. Um, and then if if it fails the saving throw, it will be restrained until the end of your next turn. Oh, that means okay. no movement speed. That means it's going straight into the ground. Yeah. We're we're fighting a dragon, Vige. <laughs> this is the the Dungeons and Dragons part. You do know that the webs are flammable, though. Yeah, that's why I was hoping to get it before it opens its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it's just a delay tactic. So yes, you uh, you get just within range and um, send your swarm to uh, to web up the creature's mouth. Uh, they lay a thick uh, coating of webs upon the yeah it's that's a 20 foot cube it's the it's the whole creature uh <laughs> so on its turn it will make the dexterity saving throw uh by any chance can i tell how old this dragon is uh make a make a nature check i'm good at those make a nature check but not this time <laughs> 12 um it 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 does it's not fully grown so it's it's not an ancient dragon you know it's not big enough to be that uh other than that it's kind of it might be like an in-between it, it's you're, you're not entirely sure okay just how powerful this guy is um let's see if uh, there's any bonus thing i want to do here real quick let's see since that's a and then since that's a swarm keeper magic that'll be wait swarm keeper is is that your ranger yes okay so the dc is 13 yes just checking for its turn 
Um, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much. Uh, I think. It. Okay. For now. Uh, do you want Do you want Scrod to move back forward? Yes. Yes. As much as he can, another yes. twenty feet forward. <laughs> Flaps his arms. <laughs> uh, Xavier, you are up. Okay. I want to check my, my stuff real quick. I can do bonus action stuff, can't I? Yes, I can. <clears throat> I <throat> am going to... Oh, let me see how far away this is. If only we didn't make a boat real life. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, sometimes you just gotta do what, what feels right. Uh, true. <laughs> well, it's not like a uh, curse of an uh, uh, curse of straw, straw, yeah. straw, where we uh, blew through all of our uh, spells uh, right in the beginning, <laughs> fighting with each other. It's the best way to spend your spell slots, really. Another classic. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I want to use my action to, to to shoot him, to shoot the dragon with my crossbow. Okie doke. Um, pew! Oh, no. Yes, yeah, I can hit. Eight? Uh, it bounces. It, it actually gets entangled in the uh, the web that is strung between its outstretched wings. Oh. Oh, okay. Hand, why did you warn me about this? You're supposed to protect me! It says nothing. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Give me with a hand. He's talking. He's talking to his glove again. <clears throat> Our December is gonna cast a spell. He's he's gonna get some distance and uh, use his magic ring that he is really he does not like to use this thing. But it's if there was ever a time. Oh shit! Oh no, he can do that. <laughs> um. Artist Simber, uh, Xavier, and, and, and Jaeger, uh, you two are probably the only two close enough to see uh, what happens as he, um, uh, he, he beats his wings forward, flips around, and extends his hand um, a, a beam of frigid blue light explodes out of the palm of his hand and sails right past the dragon. Ooh. Oh, no. All and right. then, uh, then you can all see this. Uh, right behind the dragon, it explodes into a massive sphere, a 60-foot radius sphere, which is why Ooh. he overshot it by a long. Uh, he makes sure that it hits nobody else. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the dragon first has to make a constitution saving throw. <gasps> hey, I have good news for you guys. Uh, it saved, we're gonna die. Critically failed. Ooh. <laughs> so it is going to take Ooh, that's a lot. all of the 10d6 Ooh, yeah. cold damage. That is, and it's, is it, it's not, like, no, it's not vulnerable to cold. I, I wished it was. <laughs> One shot. Uh, it is still 34 points of damage. Um, as this uh, wave of cold. Kenneth, you, you can, you, you're probably the only one close enough to feel, even the, um, it, it doesn't envelop you. But oh, it was a bad day to wear a dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not guilt. Pulls up goose pimples on your stubby thighs. Uh. <laughs> uh huh. Wait a minute, uh. is Kenneth thick? <laughs> you like Kenneth's thick. Perception check. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is. He is a stout half like. Yeah, can I roll insight on Kenneth's thighs? You don't need to roll inside on those. All right. Over 
crushing the dragon's watermelon. Nose. <laughs> Try to save against. <laughs> it's kind of size. Oh, it barely saves against the web, so it is not restrained. Um, it may, maybe the the effects, uh, the the cold of uh, artist Simber's blast, um, solidifies the webs. And with one strong downbeat, uh, the, the dragon shatters the webs. Uh, it whips its head back and uh, shouts loud enough that you can all hear it. I am Tinder and you are prey. And then it makes a beeline for Artist Simber. It is. It is. Timber. Ooh. Timber is flammable. <laughs> no, I am Aladine. Holy shit. I am. Okay. So, uh, two, no, one hit on. Artist Simber, but that is after a critical failure. Oh, that's okay. The critical failure is a cramp. It takes a 1d4 penalty to its next attack roll, but that was the, that one was a 19, so that one hits no matter what. Is it a spell that he's attacking him with? No, it is okay. just the... It is just his bite and his claw... Or its bite and its claws. Um, Artist Simber takes... 17 points of damage Oof. Uh, as um, he, he dodges deftly out of the way of its bite, but unfortunately dodges straight into a raking claw. Aladine, you are up. Uh, you got both of the um, cats kind of with you too. Gotcha. I'm, uh, we're, we're probably just going to stay... Um... Oh. I would say that the cats, one of the cats has to hold you. Okay. Maybe one of them can hold you barely, and then the other okay. one can attack. Otherwise, um, they're both out of. Okay. Whichever one of them is better with the bow. Um, River uh, Mist is, is more of the are, range. Okay. So, so a flask of wine can go ahead and hold me while River Mist takes a pot shot. But before, before he has the opportunity to do that, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hex. All right. Um, and let's lower its constitution. Okay. Um, and then I will use my action to, uh, to, to warlock blast it. Blast him. So anyway, I started a blast then. <laughs> um, 15. That does not hit. I would like to use my inspirate, my, my inspiration for the day to add a D12. Yoke doke. That's right. I should, I should remind you all of that. We're going to add 11 to that. So That's, that makes it a hit for sure. Perfect. Perfect. So let me go ahead and roll my damage here. And you get, you get another beam. Oh yeah. I get two, two blasts. Um, so that's nine from the first blast. And it's also going to, it's plus the hex. That's going to be, uh, uh, what a D six. Mm -hmm. Let me roll that real quick. So that's going to be 13 total from the first hit. It's also going to knock him 10 feet. Which direction? Uh, directly away from you? Directly just... directly away away from me. Um, so uh, unfortunately, away from Artist Simber, but closer <laughs> to... Um, yeah, closer to... <laughs> Xavier. Yeah, and does ten uh, feet does ten feet give Artist Simber uh, a um, uh, attack of opportunity? It does, unfortunately, because of the size of this thing. He he was 
they, they were dead on. Perfect. Um, Artist Zimmer is still. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. It's okay. Still, it's still within range of Artist. If Artist Simber moves away, it gets an attack of opportunity. But so if if I push him back another ten feet, would Artist Simber get an attack? Yes. Perfect. We're gonna try. So the my second. Now here's my second beam. I still have to roll the attack for this one, correct? Yes. Okay. So here we go. That's not. That's a nat one. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks Aladdin. Yeah, separate attack roll for each. Beat. Yep. So that's 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 an at one. Oh, re-roll the attack against an ally within ten feet of the target. Wow. Oh, no. There's only one. Well, there's two allies. Do do I pick the ally? I will let you pick the ally. I'm gonna roll a d6. Uh, odds are artist Simber evens are. Um, uh, it will only deal half damage. So it's odd, so it's artist Simber. Okay, so I'm okay. I'm I'm re-attacking. Artist Simber. That was a twenty-five. What the hell? <laughs> right. the hits. Uh, so here's the damage. That wasn't a crit. That's was gonna be eight. No, it was not a crit. Um, but it, it is. It is only four. It is a glancing blow. You are. Yeah. I, I mean, flask of wine is struggling to carry you on his own. It unfortunately uh, knocks him ten feet away. Which would give the dragon an attack of opportunity on Artist Simber. So, that direction? Wait, um, isn't that forced movement though? Huh? Isn't that forced movement? I'll 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 make it so it's still well. Okay, I'll I'll let you choose. It's it's either it, it'll either be within range and it can't. It, it's not necessarily going to, but it can do an attack of opportunity, or it can knock him straight down. It definitely won't get into an attack of opportunity. But uh, it will still be within range to hit him next turn. Um, crap! I can't make that decision. We're gonna let fate decide. <laughs> Classic. Uh, that knocks him out of uh, range. All right. Sorry, um, yeah, sorry, it's, artist. He's, he's st it's still mad at artists. Um. So it, it tries to reach out and take a chomp on him. I think that's a miss. Oh, no, that's a hit. Oh, no. no. <clears throat> so, um, sorry, artist. <laughs> as, uh, as it um, pushes him back, uh, the creature's head, quick as a whip, uh, lashes out and... Ooh... <laughs> Those are some. Oh wait, no. Phew. That was a. I I rolled my two d ten, and it was it was a ten on one of them. But that was the high. That was the percentile one. So it's really, it's not as bad as it looked. It looked bad. Let's see, fifteen points of damage, uh, plus uh, five points of fire damage as fire billows out around Artist Simber, um, uh, singeing him right on the torso where the creature sinks its teeth into him. Thank you, Artist, for eating all that. <laughs> that would have killed me. Uh, oh, and um, uh, Flask of Wine takes her shots. That was... I rolled an eleven plus. Well, they were they were both hits. Really. Uh, eleven damage. Seventeen points of damage. Can it move? Um. Kenneth, we're back around to you. Okay. Unless you want to move anywhere, Aladdin, you can move yourself. And right, 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 right here is just fine. <laughs> Copy that. I'm gonna move up a little bit, just uh, just a tad bit closer. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
slightly closer, and then I'm going to uh, start uh, start attacking. So anyway. So anyway, I start blasting with <laughs> my fists. Could I offer you an egg in this trying time? That's not going to do it. Not going to do it. No, sir. It, it is. Uh, it doesn't even seem to notice you. It is. Um, uh, yeah, your, your your fists of fury are pummeling ineffectively upon its thigh. I'm, I'm it's meteor use, thigh. I'm going to use a key point and try to flurry of blows. Hit it again. Got one more? Nope. <laughs> Jesus. You just, you charge him up, you let him rip. And it doesn't even look your way. Huh. Jaeger and Scrod. Okay. Well, I see we, that we nobody tried. scattered like I was hoping they would. <laughs> so I will direct Scrod <laughs> to return us back over. Uh, in doing so, and I can't move Scrod, but... Nope, there he goes. Uh, in doing so... Uh, I will first. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Fairy Fire on it. Ooh. Okay. So it has to make a deck save. Deck save, which it passes. Uh, uh, on our voyage over, I will uh, start to swirl my blades and. And get into my dancing. Uh, <laughs> oh, Scrod's holding. <laughs> on, on the wall, I'm on Scrod's back. <laughs> um, it is. It is still outlined in light, though. Yeah, we just don't get the. Uh, oh wait, no, that was the, the that was the object. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, once we get close enough, uh, try to take a stab with the one of the ghoul daggers. Okay. Ooh, I hope that paralyzes it. It's a 15. And fall damage is now. Wait, can I use my inspiration to try that again? Yes, sir. Might as well, right? If not, not now. It's even worse. <laughs> no, you added D12 to your, uh, your oh, original. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I forgot that, we, uh, that we're doing I mean, that. That could have been. Mm -hmm. So your, think... your original roll is a, a, a 15, so. So it'd be 18. <laughs> Ty goes to the defender it misses oh. <laughs> that, that is it's AC you're, get, you're getting close okay, okay let's see I'm going to say Scrod is within rage or Scrod with it is within range he also does a rage uh, and he's, he's going to start swinging at it he hates Forget dancing. Axe. <laughs> Forget axe. One hit. Oh my god. Minimum damage. Seven points of damage. Oh, Jesus. Erm, you did this to us. Um, Great. Erm, TPK us. Great. I remember this when we we're playing Aliens, Erm. <laughs> Your CO is not happy. Xavier, you are up. I'm going to bonus action disengage away from that motherfucker. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm going to shoot it again. Pew! Can't see it. Uh, can I run my? I'm gonna use my inspiration. It's it's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a tough one. Wait, but even if I hit, you you need if I you got need max. a twelve. You need yeah, a twelve on your D12. Well, you know what? I believe in the heart of the dice. Please. Oh, it's at eleven. Oh my oh. goodness! <laughs> Crushing. It just, I, it, uh, it looks like it's going to stick it in the throat, 
and then it opens its jaws and snaps down on the crossbow bolt. Mm. Swallows mm. it. Mm. Okay. It appears like it likes it. It, it, it likes crossbow it bolts. It crossbow. You're right, Aladino. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm ineffective against it. <clears throat> and that's it for me. It's Artist Simber's turn. He's gonna. No, no hard feelings about that uh, Eldritch Blast from earlier, right? Right. Oh no, he's he's focused. Let's see which one's gonna use. He can use that one. Oh no, he can't. He can use that one. Oh oh. Hey, what's what's the hex? Um, Constitution. Constitution. Mm -hmm. But what's what's the penalty on it? Uh, I believe it's minus one. Let me double check. I thought it was disadvantage. Oh yeah, no, it's disadvantage on all ability checks made with the chosen ability. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ability checks, not saving throws. Ability checks. It says ability checks. Yep. Mm. That's why hex is kind of a pain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I think Artisan so probably knows this thing is. So we can't handle his alcohol if that's what you're asking. <laughs> There's a chance. All right, he's gonna try this. Um, he he raises his hand, his ringed hand again, um, and a a bolt of ice cold energy leaps out towards the dragon again, hitting everybody. <clears throat> um, you you all see its flesh begin to turn translucent as it begins to freeze from the outside in. Okay. And on its turn, it begins to plummet to the earth. Uh, Kenneth, Jaeger, and Scrod, you can all make attacks of opportunity if you like, as it begins to fall. Scrod. No, Scrod misses. Jaeger miss. just misses. Can I make a grapple check to grab onto it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fall with it, though. No, I'm falling with it. <laughs> if, if you only had a cowboy hat. Grapples with athletics. See a space cowboy. Um, yeah, athletics. I mean, it's it's not moving anymore. It should, it, but it is. It's slippery. Now it's it's sort of or, it's covered with this. Or, or, I mean, or, or acrobatic. Stickier, because you know, have you ever touched ice cube with your bare fingers before? All right, I got nineteen. Yeah. You're latched on, Kenneth. You are falling along with the dragon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Is the volcano open Falls. beneath them? Highs or lows? Let's see if we're above a caldera. Going for my Gandalf arc. Highs. <laughs> Highs. Oh, that pretty good. All right. Um, we'll see. You can't. You can't see from here, but I know. There's a redemption. There's a redemption in chat. The, the... <laughs> Janet, as as you uh, grab onto the the back of the. Uh, the plummeting dragon. Uh, from as if from nowhere, you pull a cowboy hat that you can whip around your head as you as you see fit. <laughs> Kent's got another thing too. Perfect. Wow, Uba, did you see that fanfare? My goodness. You instantly descend up to five hundred feet. Damn, why is he so heavy? <laughs> that's pretty fast. That's terminal velocity. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, is that falling speed? We're we're making oh, here. dragon chutney. He's gonna splatter and shatter on impact. Mm-hmm. Get, get some seconds. toast ready. Get almost six hundred feet. That's just <laughs> that's just how that's just maths. 
<laughs> He's a bag of rocks. What the hell? Boy, you are you are traveling at speed, Kenneth. I mean, it's gone. It's like <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's a puff of smoke where it was. <laughs> yeah, there there is a dragon shaped outline. <laughs> high up were you guys flying? Guys, were, wasn't there just a dragon there? <laughs> I didn't think we were that high up. I don't think you probably. I mean, yeah, you're going up and over the. Um, Maybe. So. This this is just for Kenneth. <laughs> I probably notice it, maybe. Maybe. Five hundred feet away, in in heaven, oh, like no, obscured. He's, no, he's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, so Kenneth, you grab onto the freezing over dragon. Um. Let's see. Let's. All right. This is going to be how high up you were. I'm trying to see if I have any tubes on me and make a good whistling sound on the way. Okay. Doesn't look like it. I can't do it. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Kenneth, uh, you uh, are whipping your. Oh! What? The big raid. (laughs) Garland64, thank you so much. Oh, hell yeah. Why, hello. Yeah, How was your stream? Piece of spectacular stuff. Uh, Kenneth is currently riding a frozen over fire dragon that is plummeting to the earth at speed. Uh, we are over a set of <laughs> volcanoes. <laughs> and Kenneth, the, uh, the, the glow beneath you is growing brighter and brighter. Oh no. However, beneath you, you feel an impact. Oof. Let's see. How much mm-hmm. how much dragon yet? butter did we make? <laughs> if you guys haven't yet, please go Crazy. follow Scarlet. Please. Thank you very much. Oh don't don't forget about a uh, slow fall. Oh that's oh, right. no, I You're won't. A monk. <laughs> so the dragon is going to so so the the falling damage was 33 you you are only about 90 feet above the peak of the mountain here and luckily you fall on the edge of the crater not smack dab in the middle <laughs> the dragon frozen over skin as it is is going to take double damage which is 66. Oh, man. Kenneth, you take half damage because of the uh, the thing beneath you sort of crunching out and um, spreading out the energy, as it were. And with your slow fall, you, you hop right off the side of the dragon and <laughs> do a cool superhero landing. <laughs> I hope I'm far enough away to get solo XP for this. <laughs> feel upon dismount you should pull the hat off and give a bow <laughs> um y- you are all close enough to hear the crunch when it oh went oh we God, should probably check i hope i hope not yeah let's go check him out aladine you're up uh what Let's let's fly down there and see what the hell happens. Yeah, you can. How many you rounds get... to take us to all get down there? It'll it'll take two <laughs> rounds. If if you if you dash, um. Oh, and flask of actually flask of wine can get you down there this turn. Oh yeah. If she if she does her feline agility and dashes. Yeah, let's do that. So uh, you and flask of wine soar. Dagger, flask of wine just folds her wings in. Uh, and you you think you're about to meet the same fate as Kenneth and the dragon, but she is able to uh, air break at the last second, and you see next to this glowing, spitting caldera of lava, the iced over dragon. It's it's still mostly intact, but it is surrounded by a frozen a. a split a, a, a spray of 
ice shards that in the heat of the caldera are starting to melt. You can tell that most of those shards are actually flesh. Uh, and you see Kenneth standing next to it. <laughs> unharmed. A fire and ice. Oh. Uh... Remind me never to piss you off when we're in the sky. Oddly specific, but okay. Well, just because the the the. We <laughs> um, have that thing. I don't. Should we? Is there anything we could take from this? Dragons usually have gold, right? Is there any frozen gold? Um, you you can uh, you, actually you, Kenneth you and and Aladim you you can see it is still trying to move. It's not dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, we should we should probably keep punching it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, get down here. This thing's still alive. <laughs> yeah, Aladim, you still got your you still got your action. You oh, still got cool. whatever you wanted. Yeah, that was just last wine. Le oh yeah, perfect. Let's go ahead and um um let's blast them. It's restrained. So. <clears throat> is that advantage? Let me check. I believe it is. Attack oh. rolls against the creature have advantage. Perfect. So that's a 19 or a... We'll keep that 19. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the first one. Blasting. That's 12 plus... For my hex. Five. So I have 17 total. Uh, and then for the second blast. That 16's not going to do it, but we have advantage. So we're going to keep on trying. Go. 26. That'll do it. For 14 damage plus the hex. Another two. So, okay. 17 more damage. 16. Sorry, 16. Gotcha. <clears throat> um, so, it is it is restrained. Uh, I, I thought restrained was like incapacitated. It can't take actions. It can take actions. So, Kenneth, as it was plummeting, it was trying to get at you. Um, let's see if it hit you. It, it, it would have it been grappled by me. It just automatically, I think it automatically would have failed that. So when it's grappled, can it? I, mean, I, think, it's the break, I think it's to break the grapple before it can attack. Or it can use its action to try and break the grapple, I think it was. I think that the grappled creature's speed becomes zero. The condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. I think it can still. It just can't. It just couldn't move anywhere. It can still try to make its attacks. You're on its back though, so it's going to be at dis. It's it's like trying yeah, yeah. To, to get at you. Yeah, it's it's not hitting you. Not with the bite. Not with the claw. Oh, with that last claw, it gets you though. <laughs> it's not dead yet. Or and eh, not that. Only nine <laughs> points of damage. Nine. Nine points of slashing damage as you as you went down, but then it landed, it splatted. Now it's your turn. All right, since it's still grappled with me, it takes one d4 of bludgeoning damage at the beginning of my turn. Okay. Four. Boom. And then. I'm gonna start kicking the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that hits, but roll roll with advantage just to see. Oh, yeah. if we get a crit. No, but that's a hit. Twelve points of damage. Uh, the second one. That's a hit. You're so close too. <laughs> Another twelve points of damage. I don't. The unarmed strike is definitely gonna hit. Yep. 
six points of damage. Plus, I'm just gonna roll your three d six for you. Yeah. That's still you yeah you're you're back up on full health. Uh, you do another eleven points of damage, and uh, I haven't done this before. Uh, how would you like to do this? Oh wow. <laughs> um. With your fists. <laughs> No, I, th- I think I think the, as Aladdin lands, I just want to be like off the spacing of the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah, Aladdin. You you shoot your bolts into it, and Kenneth is just wailing on it, and you you see it slump to the ground, and Kenneth is still going, and and still going. This crowd's going. This crowd has to pull me off and hold me back. <laughs> Yeah, we are out of initiative. Everybody can uh, fly themselves down. Oh, amazing. What's going on? Anything valuable? Oh, yeah, we can take all kinds of parts off this thing. No, like, I mean, like, things that, like, actual people want. Yes, it is a dragon. There should be a dragon horde nearby. Why wouldn't you want this stuff? I just, I want this stuff. Dragons gen genuine they generally covet gold and and magical items. Doesn't have pockets though. It's got a prison pocket though. You didn't yeah. stop and ask it where its layer is. We could beat the hell out of it. I could probably figure that out. I mean which is, which direction was it flying from? It's gotta be somewhere in this mountain ridge right here. Yeah. I yeah, think from the velocity it was coming at us uh, from a uh, upward angle, mayhaps. So it was. This was you guys were. Um, you guys were heading sort of southeast. Yeah. Uh, it it came it came at you from behind. It came at you from the same direction you were. It it was like trying to sneak up on you. So from that, you're you're not sure if that's where its lair is. You think it's probably a safe bet that it's somewhere in in the Cobalt Mountains. Yeah, what were you asking? Uh, Can I do a quick pass and, like, do an investigation to see if, um, maybe dragon-like nesting area? Around here? Yes. Yeah, make an investigation check. can Can I send Uba with him to give him help doing that? Yeah, that's good. I was gonna say it's a disadvantage because it's of the of the thick smoke. But yeah, with Uba's help, it'll just be a straight. I was gonna say, if you guys all want to go check it out, I'll. I'll it's gonna take me a while to get some useful stuff off this guy. <laughs> the big dude, please. <laughs> oh, thirteen. Um, you you look around. It looks as much like a like somewhere that a fire dragon would nest as any sort of pit of lava would but you don't see any horde certainly i pick a cave um highs or lows highs um there really are no caves around the edge of this it's just sort of a an op it's it's a okay. caldera of of lava it's you don't see anywhere it would be hidden okay I, unless unless by magical means but your investigation he's not wasn't talking to me to... he won't answer me i can't be like locate horde but it won't tell me <laughs> Not not after, today after anyway. Rest. Yeah, not today anyway. I want to do my uh, harvesting check. Please. Um, it is so. It is. Let's tr- do a nature check to identify it. All right. I mean, it's a red dragon, obviously. Oh, but... Twelve. Yeah. So you're you're not entirely sure what kind of uh, what kind of dragon it is. Um, for for the purposes of looking looking it up, it is a young red dragon. But huh. when you when you make your extraction check, you don't get to add your bonus to it. It is just the um, it is just the straight up. Is it survival with the when when you do the harvest? Is, um, is, so it's just a plus five, I think. Or is it just no? It's just dexterity. Yeah, I think we did dexterity for that. 
So yeah, so it's so it's a deep. So it's just a dexterity check. Thirteen. Uh, so yeah, once once you find and let me see. I, got it. Um, I think okay. I have it up. You got the so anything under a thirteen you can harvest. It's not that much. It's it, you, it once artist Simber sort of releases the spell on it, and it when it returns back to its fleshy form, it's pretty exploded already. Yeah, can't so beat the hell maybe, out of it. It's not even. It's not that you can't harvest it. It's like you can't find a lot of it. Like where where did it even go? It's probably a lot of it's in the lava, sinking to the bottom, probably. Uh, Artist Simber lands next to you. Um, uh, he's he's sort of worriedly um, turning the ring around and around on his hand. Uh, he says, "I I don't regret using this thing, but uh, it's going to put us in some danger going forward. Uh, the what? things that are looking for it are going to know where we are. So, wow. so the." What, what what what's up with that that ring, man? You seem pretty reluctant to 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 use it. I don't have a problem using magical items. Maybe yeah, can... that's that's exactly the issue. What what do you are we are we gonna have a problem now? Like what? Are, the... are, are, are you going are you going to make a problem? No, I just have trying to have a conversation with you. I've never seen that ring be used before. It's pretty powerful. Why yes. why are we only why aren't we using it more often? I just there there were things in that dungeon that uh <laughs> that probably could have taken care of pretty easily. Because there are frost giants looking for it. Okay. I don't see any frost giants around here. No, oh, if we stick around here for much longer there will be. They don't like coming up here, but for this thing? Are they some kind of lords of that ring? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> it's, uh... Is that a, a ring of power? I, I don't want to put you in more danger than I already have. Well, we might as well tell us so we know what's going on. Before we find Frost Giants knocking on our cave door. You're ready to stomp us. He he points to your uh, gauntlet. Uh, you yeah. said that thing talks to you sometimes. Yeah. No one else has to believe me. This is always in my head. Hmm. Oh, maybe they can talk to each other. And I put my gauntlet out in front of him. He uh, he retracts his hand. He says, "That trust me, you you don't want those two things talking to each other. If they if they even can." That would be... Look, you, you should be grateful yours is as quiet as it is. Hmm. And is seemingly benevolent for now. Oh, no, I don't trust a thing for my life, but... <laughs> the Ring of Winter wants to be used. It wants to bring about winter. Eternal winter. For everyone. Everywhere. Forever. Um, would my arcana or history have heard about that ring? Yeah, make a history check. Uh, history, here I come. That's a 23. The Ring of Winter is a powerful magical ring with numerous uh, magical capabilities. The ring makes it impossible for the wearer to be detected through divination magic, renders its wearer immune to cold, and halts aging entirely. It also constantly attempts to take control of its wearer to compel them to cause unnecessary harm and destruction. I've heard about that ring, Artis. Why are you hold something like that with you? Because I can control it. Should they all say... talk about this on the go? Yes, I think that would be wise. Okay, and he and takes off. He's going to get a couple of vials of dragon's blood. And... Hey, you hey. get back here. I go after. Would it be? It wouldn't be on a volcano have stopped the frost giants from getting here. Yeah, yeah. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he flies back down. <laughs> Stops. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> they 
Uh, look, Frost Giants are uh, averse to heat, averse to fire, certainly. But um, they will go to any ends to bring this back. Oh, wait. The Jarl Stolvard, he, he believes it uh, to be the way to the Ordning. And if they get this, winter is coming. My brother's journal had something about from Frost Giants. But they yeah, were on the other side you, of the island. Do you remember them? Yes, you, you have run into Frost Giants on uh, Chult. Long ago. Uh, in the beginning. In, <laughs> in the Jinx. before times. <laughs> up near Port Castigli. Up near... Uh, um, really early. Like, way up here somewhere. Yeah, I, oh, it was it was up near Fort Belurian, even I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fort Belurian. Yeah. Um. But he he says they they will uh, stop at nothing to get this because they believe it will enable them to essentially take over the world. They will be able to go anywhere. They will be the lords of the entire domain. Well, I mean, why not use the ring to take out the frost giant? Seems like a pretty simple cold damage and frost giants. Al. Yeah, he just everybody... raises an eyebrow and then gestures to Xavier. Are you trying to make him super powered? Well, I mean, Except they're, they're... around here trying to take over the world for. Him. Okay, well, look, I I am just saying. If push comes to shove and we are in a situation, artist, and we know now know that you have this power, uh, me personally, I say use it. And if frost giants happen to find us, we'll deal with that when the time comes. That's what I've done. He gestures to the dead dragon. Yeah, but and now we should get going. Yeah, but I, I, I was, I was hurt pretty bad in a dungeon, where we're, we're looking around for stuff. I mean, like a magic blast, a cold ray that explodes could have been useful. I'm just saying, don't he feel. He you on the shoulder. You're, you're still alive. Yeah, but just don't. And then he flies off. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm, as he's flying off telepathically, I'm gonna say we're. This is not the last conversation we're having about that ring, sir. You could still have it technically. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get away from you. <laughs> you 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 are the only one who hears him goes fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and we will end it there for the night. All right. Uh, Remind if you can find us a raid. Uh, first, thank you to the cast. Thank you for the audience for your participation and this encounter. Um, and uh, of course, you know all the subs and the raids. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, uh, and and if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the follow button down at the bottom right hand corner. Um, we do this uh, several nights a week, uh, starting with uh, Mondays tomorrow. Uh, we are, are we back to Solar Patrol? Like, or are we back to Star Trek? Star Trek tomorrow. Doing Star Trek tomorrow. Um, uh, so yes, uh, they're, they're uh, doing the, uh, the uh, Cardassian uh, occupation of Bajor. Uh, so tune in to that 8.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, then Tuesday, we continue with Chapter 3 of Conan at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Wednesday, 8 p.m. We are actually we're going to be a little late this week, I think. Uh, we're going to do a little delayed uh, episodes, probably 8.30-ish, 8.45. Uh, we'll probably be doing uh, Curse of Strahd. Um, so tune in for that. Uh, Thursday, we'll be returning to the Megaverse uh, with Rifts um, at 8.30 p.m. Uh, and then tune in the following week, uh as we actually will probably still well, tune in soon because we'll be starting season two of aliens, which is what we were planning uh, on our off week uh, this past week. Uh, and then Friday, give me solo and a cookie. Uh, we have our 
AI generated friend Simon, uh, who who uh, runs a solo campaign, uh, and that's six thirty p.m. Eastern time. And then uh, we will not be back next Sunday, but the Sunday following uh, to continue on with our Tomb of Annihilation uh, uh, adventure storyline here. So again, uh, thanks everybody for for stopping in. Uh, how are we doing on time? We're good. You did really. I I I started it early. You 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 did hard mode. Good job. Yeah. We All got right. some time to Fantastic. kill. I know anyone. Hey. Have any balloon <laughs> stories they want to tell? I mean, <laughs> yeah, okay. seven seconds. Well, yeah, if only, well, if only we could have flown up there ourselves. <laughs> <Right>. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks again. Uh,